Okay, real quick before the video begins, if you find this video useful, be sure to leave a like down below. And to stay up to date on my content, remember to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of my uploads. Go to the video. So here's the scenario. You newly installed Guild Wars 2, made your first character, and spawned into the world. What do you do from here? Or better yet, what is there to be learned from this point forward? First impressions are a big thing when it comes to MMORPGs, as you can see by all these videos talking about first impressions. I've spent a lot of time observing what new players do when they first join Guild Wars 2, and there are a few little things that I often give them tips about. This ranges from little quality of life changes in the settings, to things like telling them that they can move their mini-map from the bottom right corner of their screen to the top right corner of their screen. I figured that if I compile a lot of those tips into a video, I'll be able to get them out to more people. So here's your answer to the question of, what's next? Tip number one. You can adjust if your map is on the bottom right or the top right of your screen. This is completely up to your own comfort, so put it wherever you wish. You can also change its size by dragging its borders. Tip number two, read and mess around with your settings. By mousing over each individual setting and see what they do. A lot of the default settings for Guild Wars 2 are not exactly the best when it comes to optimizing how you interact with the world. You can adjust things such as if you can loot enemies in an AoE, if you can quick cast your ground targeted abilities, and whether or not you can actually use your mobility skills to get away from enemies without accidentally targeting them. I won't go over all of these settings in this video, but I have another one that you can check out that will tell you every single one that I suggest. Tip number three, follow the green star markers. These are your story quest markers, and if you ever struggle to find where they are, look at your minimap. They appear there. These can also take the form of green circles and arrows on your minimap, as well as a spiral when the direction to go to the story is in a different map. Tip number four, read what your skills do. Reading what each skill does is something that will help you a lot, especially because each weapon is tied to a certain playstyle. Tip number five, talk to scouts. If you see these NPCs with spy glasses over their heads, talk to them. They will tell you more about the hearts in the area, and if you ever find yourself struggling to complete a map, most likely you can talk to a scout somewhere, they will show you what you have missed. Tip number six, learn how the compass works. The compass in Guild Wars 2 points you towards the nearest objective or to your story, depending on what you're doing. This can be hero points, arts, events, and so on. If you're going towards something, the arrow on top of the compass will point upwards. If you're going away from it, it will point downwards. Tip number seven. You can mouse over the icons on your world map to see what they are and what they do. I have noticed a lot of old World of Warcraft players that join Guild Wars 2 without knowing that they can teleport to the waypoints on the map for a long time because they're not used to being able to do that coming from a game where you can only fast travel through flight paths or through mage portals. Tip number 8. If you still see an enemy's body on the ground several seconds after they die, they have loot on them and you have to pick that up by pressing F or right clicking on the body. The tell for when an enemy has dropped loot is a little bit more subtle compared to other games. So it's good to get into a habit of pressing F to loot things, but you can eventually get the ability to auto loot enemies without having to press F once you get the expansions. Tip number nine, read your level up rewards. Your level up rewards are what pops up in the bottom right of your screen whenever you level up. This usually tells you about a feature that you have unlocked by reaching that level, and you can click or mouse over what you see in these menus to see what they are talking about. Tip number 10, hard NPCs become merchants after you fill their hearts. This is something that a lot of people skip over. When you talk to these NPCs, not only will they sell you items that are useful for the early leveling process, but you can also sell things to them, such as access items in your inventory and things you can sell to them through the sell junk button. This button will automatically sell any junk items you have in your inventory. Tip number 11. You can mouse over the icons on the left side of your world map to ping every unfogged one that you have on the map that you have yet to discover. This only works for the zone that you are in. Tip number 12. Explore your menus. If you press H, you have access to most of the menus in the game that you need to use in order to access things such as your character menu, your achievements, your story menu, and most importantly, maybe the transmog menu, which is called the wardrobe in this game. Finally, we have tip 13. While you're exploring, make sure to do your hearts. Make sure to discover any undiscovered things you come across on the map. You will know when you have discovered something when its icon physically changes on your map and when the count of that icon goes up on the map. Also make sure to do events. These are orange markers slash circles that appear on your map that you can go to and when you complete them, you get a big experience chunk to your EXP bar. That's about it for this video though. Hope you find these tips helpful. And if you have any questions about anything, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try my best to answer any question you have about the game. That said, I'll see you in the next one. See you next time.